police guy isn't the luckiest man in the U.S. Army, show me a better candidate. We the people agree that Corporal George E. Reese of the Army Air Forces is one of the luckiest men in the United States Army. And so will you after you've heard his story. He's just returned from the Pacific and is waiting now at our We the People microphone in Hollywood where Tom Hanlon is ready to introduce him. Come in, Hollywood. Well, Corporal, how about telling we the people why you're called the luckiest man in the United States Army? Well, let's see. First, there was a torpedo in Sydney Harbor. <laughs> then the Jap bomb on Guinea. Then... Whoa, Corporal, let's take them one at a time. Now, what happened in Sydney? Well, Tom, I was on a ferry boat in the middle of the harbor at Sydney when a Jap sub came into the bay and let fly with a torpedo. He scored a direct hit. The next thing I knew, I was thinking my lucky stars, I knew how to swim. Made it to shore mm. okay, huh? That's right, and not a scratch on me. Now about that Jap plane in New Guinea. Well, first of all, I was driving a Jeep when the Jap raid started, and an air miss by a 600-pounder made Swiss cheese out of that Jeep, believe me. But not a scratch on me. What next? Well, I dived into a slit train, but the plane came back and straight. The, the boat sprayed all around me in a duck. That duck not only saved me from bullets, it probably saved me from being scared to death as well. Uh, how come? After the raid was over, I, I lifted my head to see if I was all there, and the first thing I saw was a 500-pound Jap bomb sticking in the ground about five feet from my head. Lucky it was a dud. All right, Corporal, now we're ready for anything. Uh, what happened next? Well, Tom, things went along rather smoothly for the first time. Uh -huh. I didn't have any really startling experiences until the invasion of the Philippines. Uh, and what then? I was riding to a beachhead at Leyte when one of those Jap suicide pilots wanted to join his ancestors by way of our bow. He came in low and smashed head on into our boat. It was really a mess, but luck was with me again and I didn't get a scratch. And to top them all, I understand you volunteered for a truck ride through a line of Jap snipers. That's right, Tom, and the Jap shot three bullet holes through the windshield of my truck. I sure was glad they were shooting at me and not the truck because the truck was loaded with 4,000 gallons of high-octane gas. Shortly after that, they sent me home. I guess they figured five close ones are enough for any GI. Well, thanks, Corporal George E. Reese, and we the people wish you the best of luck. This is Tom Hanlon in Hollywood returning you to Milo Bolton and we the people in New York.